children of God, we should be worldwide. Addressing all in those in Russia, China, Australia, Canada, America. Hallelujah. Amen. Qatar. Where else do you know? Saudi Arabia, <coughs> Somalia, Kenya. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for his faithfulness. So the Lord has brought us here that we may share his love and feel him and ask him to have his way in our lives. Praise Jesus. Amen. This morning, this day, I want us to share the word of God as we focus on his favor upon his people. Hallelujah. Kibali cha mungu kwa watu wake. Mungu ni mungu wa upendo, ni mungu wa bae ana uwezo mwingi, na huu uwezo, he is not mean with that uwezo. God is so large that we limit ourselves in the way we approach him, in the way we expect what to receive from him. But he's so large that he can give each and every one of us beautiful, big, I even miss the word. Yanya naweza kukubariki ili ambapo Kenya yote inasema na huyu amebarikiwa. And he can do it to all of us. Hallelujah. Kibali chake kwetu ni nichaja. He can bless us in whichever way. As long as Hicho kibali kiko juu yako. Hallelujah. Amen. A young lady by the name of Mary, you know, um, just at home, hako nyumbani, anaendelea na maisha yake, amepata mchumba wa kumuwa, na wame zungumza, mambo ya najulikana. And then from nowhere, an angel of God appears to her. When I saw Pesifa, say from nowhere, from nowhere. That is how blessings come. Amen. <laughs> when I saw Pesifa, zina kujia tu from nowhere. We do ujui, we do kueleza. You can't truly explain what happened. Ata ukulizwa na nini ni nini. Sometimes we say I prayed, I fasted, eh? I fasted for 21 days. It has nothing to do with our fast. Oh, yes. It is just God's faithfulness, God's goodness to his people. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he loves us. He has no he's not trading with us. He loves us. Anatupenda. Anatupenda na ametuonyesha jinsi vile tunaweza kuishi ili tuingie nyumbani vizuri bila kuumia njiani. Hallelujah. Amen. Because hata kama ni masehemu kama hapa, you know, in the village or in town, if you do not know how to board a bus and go to sit in that bus and alight in that bus and follow the right path all the way until you get to your house. You know something will happen to you. Utasumbuka, utaribiwa, watu watakuibia. So God has a plan for each one of us so that ukisha amua, unaenda Nairobi from whichever direction you are, unajua jinsi ya kuingia Nairobi. Unajua wakati wa kuamka ndio kama wewe ni wambali, kama kisi ama eh, kakamega ama Mombasa so that you take the right route the right uh, transport means SGR you may want SGR you take 4 hours you may choose a bus for whatever reason take is it 8 hours and so on and so forth so ni kama hivyo Mungu amekusudia kwamba tufuate ile njia ambayo itatupeleka ile destination about to Africa. Hallelujah. Na katika hiyo safari kibali chake kiko juu ya maisha yetu. Sema kibali. Kibali. His favor is upon us. So Mary unexpected and knowing what God's plan was finds herself uh, confronted by an angel. An angel goes to her and talks to her. And she really has no understanding of what is going on. Lakini hiki ni kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimekusudiwa for years. It had been prophesied by Isaiah. Behold, a son will be born. Hallelujah. But atu kuambiwa ni nani atamleta. And imagine it is Mary, a young woman, who is minding her own business. And kibali kimempata sasa na jipata anazungumziwa na malaika hallelujah malaika anakuzungumzia mami msichana unaweza kuwa mzee unaweza kuwa yeyote yule ametumwa kwako what a blessing amen hallelujah 
amejua kwako ana anajua kwako sio hataki sio kuonyeshwa ni wapi ataenda he has the map the angel knows where we are they will know get, they know where we are right now they know where to get you to give you your blessing when i so face it so mary finds herself at a place where she is told about the blessing which is just about to come to her and that is great rejoicing for the world what she had encountered was not going to be just special to her alone it was going to be special even to you and i but i saw face it in luke 1 verse 30 to 33 the bible says and the angel said unto her hallelujah fear not mary for you have found favor with god say finding favor Finding with God. With God. Amen. Amen. That is the biggest blessing that any one of us can expect. Mm. And indeed, that we even pray for it. One, natangaza kibali chao. Maishani mwangu. Baba, sababisha kuwe na kibali juu ya maisha yangu. Because once God has released his hand and kibali chake kiko juu ya maisha yako, there is no way you can't go. There is nothing you can't do because the king has ordained it for you to be blessed beyond measure. Verse that one says, And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Mambo makubwa. Verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Do you think Mary understood all these things? Na amini hapo elewa. Sasa, akiamiwa verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Ha. You know, it doesn't, with, 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 the, with the mind, with the human mind, you would need someone to say, what do you mean? Actually, what do you mean? What do you mean? First of all, when I will conceive a son. I have, I'm not married yet. I'm in deal. What is that? I'm engaged. Yes, I'm engaged. So where do I get that son? And then you are announcing that this son will be so great he will reign over the house of Jacob but Kibali when it comes it shocks you because you don't deserve it in fact we don't deserve any of the blessings that God gives us he just gives us and he wants to give us hallelujah he wants to give us sometimes when we don't even expect but how much more when we can say Lord I desire your favor upon me hallelujah Lord, I desire that I may walk in your in your favor. Because when you walk in your favor, wakati kibali cha Bwana kiko juu ya maisha yako, people just smiling at you. They see you ni kwa barabara, wanakusalimia vizuri. Yaani they are attracted to you, not for evil, but for good. Wanakuheshimu, wanataka kukubariki. Hallelujah, Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. It is a beautiful thing to have the favor of God upon each one of us. So that whatever tasks the Lord has given us to do, ata kama ni ukulima hapo nyumbani, unapanda maindi yako na inakuja mbili mbili. Hallelujah. Amen. Inakuja yote. Hakuna hata ugonjo unangia pala. Bana iso pele siva. Hallelujah. Amen. Na unafuna. Na hakuna nja. Unaweza kusikia wengine wakilia. But God's favor is upon you. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is what we need. And that is what we can expect from our God. As we take the right bus from whichever destination you, you, from whichever place you are, to that destination you want to end at. Hallelujah. Yeah. The prayer is, and the truth is, as we start our journey in God, His hand is upon us. His hand of blessing is upon us. His hand of favor is upon us. The only problem is us who get distracted somewhere along the way. Sisi ndiyo tunaanza kuchanganya mingu. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Sisi ndiyo tunaanza kuwa attracted by the town we see, the nearest town we see. Tunafikira haa, nimefika Nairobi. Hata you might even get out. 
Bwana Yesu atoe sifa. Yaani kuna destination yako na kuna makubwa ambayo yako yanakuja progressively lakini wewe in your excitement me in my excitement the little we see we think we have a right. So we derail God's plans in our lives. Bwana Yesu atoe sifa. Hallelujah. Maybe could have I'm just saying this. Maybe could have been doing other things mpaka pengine kuokuwe na huzuni sasa mbona huyu msichana anachanganisha na maisha yake anatafika but she wasn't there she was just there a young woman a virgin who was waiting on God and things were going according to plan so she was found at the right place at the right time when I saw her sifa being found at the right place at the right time doing the right thing hallelujah because each one of us there is a destiny wewe kuna mahali Mungu anataka ufike. Lakini it is possible kwamba umejichanganisha ama umeanza kujichanganisha ama utajichanganisha but God forbid. Hallelujah. Amen. God forbid that any one of us should kuchanganya kuchanganya miguu so that we lose that which God had intended to give us. Because God has plans for each one of us. Plans to 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 do us good hallelujah Amen. plans for our future plans for our prosperity plans for that which will will, will come your way so that you will be the one uh, being the pioneer in that area when i saw persifa mungu anataka wewe ndio pioneer hapo wewe ndio pioneer hapo lakini uwe mtu wa kweli when i saw persifa let the truth be found found in you let the truth of god be found in you May the obedience of God be found in you. May the faith of God be found in you. When I so perceive, may the sincerity that God expects of each one of us be found in us. Hallelujah. May that righteousness which he has clothed us with, may you not be found that you have removed that righteousness which has he has clothed you with. When I so perceive, because we can very easily remove that veil of righteousness, that garment of righteousness which has been given to us. Hallelujah. And yet God is progressively increasing that which he wants us to receive. The his favor is coming. Lakini sasa mtu anaangalia upande na ona. Lakini naona wale wanafanya vizuri. Nataka kufanya kama wao. Wale ni wale. Hallelujah. Amen. Your plan is different from God. Where you are headed to is different. Amen. When I saw this sifa. What you are doing, what he has designed you to do is different from what he has designed that one to be and to do. Yes. Hallelujah. So that we should not interfere with the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is so steadfast. God is so focused. He wants you to achieve. He wants you to progress. He wants you to move with speed. Hallelujah. Amen. That is his desire for each one of us. But sometimes we hold him back. Why? Because of the things we get involved in. Because of the things we start doing. Because of the things we fail to do. And he's so gentle. Hallelujah. He is so gentle just as he does not push himself into us. Wajua ajisukumi kwetu hapana. He is a gentleman. Anakungoja tu wewe useme Bwana come into my life and, and, and move on. He but he will make sure that he is showing you. He is speaking to you even here this morning. Anakuzungumzia, anakwambia ninakupenda, ninakujali, nina mpango wako, kuna mahali nitakupeleka, wacha kujichanganya. Hallelujah. Na wajua kujichanganya can be anything. It can be anything. I could be a minister na nina chichanganya. You could be a mother una chichanganya. You could be a father una chichanganya. You could be a young man, woman, a young girl in school and you are met and you're smart. You you've got brains, you're smart, you can really achieve great things. Lakini unaanza sasa kujikata kata, unaanza kusimama kando kando ya barabara. Unjui kwamba wewe you are a star. You you sasa your star is being diverted. Eh? And before long, you are only in class six, class seven, mean by Megia. When I saw Sifa. And this is the girl who was meant to be something great. Now Kwazia Hapo, we were learning yesterday about a wounded heart. Hallelujah. Suddenly so the heart becomes so wounded that to retrieve you from where you are fallen, it will be difficult. When I saw Sifa. So wounded that you think Mungu akupendi, akujali, and tomorrow. Uh, three years down the line when you unapatikana sasa unalima shamba ya watu kwa shilingi 200 kwa siku and you are meant to be something so 
special. Hallelujah. Kibali cha Bwana kilikuwa juu yako lakini sasa wewe ukachanganya miguu. May the Lord help us all of us not to kuchanganya miguu yetu, not to interfere with God's plan for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary found favor with God and the angel was sent to her. Hallelujah. Amen. The angel was sent to that young woman and she was told you are found favor. Hallelujah. Amen. Behold you are found favor and the angel said that you fear not usiokope. Man I believe the presence of an angel about to our only kila siku. Alafu unamuona na yuko mrefu hapo sijui hiyo appearance with cheva will it come. Tayari ushaokopa. Anamwambia pana usiokope. You are in very good hands. Heaven is with you. Heaven has been with you. Heaven is watching over you. It's like this because heaven is watching over us. All those clouds of witness, what we call them. All those loved ones who've gone before us. Hallelujah. They can see there is a portal, a portal. When I say, 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 they're doing well. Like in what you are messing up, I say, what can we do? Hallelujah. We pray that Jesus will be interceding for you, for me, for us. Amen. Amen. Favor. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon us. Let us not interfere with what God wants to do for us. Because he has purpose to do us good. It will not be long before you see how God unfe- un- un- unveils and unfolds his plan for our lives, for your life. Hallelujah. If you look back at your life, you can see where you were five years ago. Things have happened. Hallelujah. Things have happened. Some may have been bad, but some are very good. And in this life, we have not been promised just a bit of a ninja. Ninja has got a kupanda, kuteremuka, milima na mabonde, when I saw Ben Siva, that God is in control. God is watching over us, no matter what happens as we move along. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. You may have been sick, but the Lord healed you. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be sick, but the Lord will heal you. That is why we need to stand and say, Lord, your favor is upon me. Say it. Ben, say it. Your favor is upon me. Declare it. Decree it. Hallelujah. Don't be shy. Hallelujah. We've been uh, authorized to speak the word. Only speak the word. Hallelujah. Speak the word. And it's not something you are going to manufacture. It is something that the Lord has spoken about and has given others to enjoy. Because we see uh, Mary be receiving this great favor. When I saw Sifa. Hallelujah. Mary received it and it was wonderful uh, in the presence of the Lord. When I saw Sifa. Now, in, um, in, in Psalms 90, verse 17. The Bible says, and let the beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us. And establish you, the work of our hands, upon us. Yes, the work of our hands, establish it. Hallelujah. That is favor. The beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us. May the beauty of the Lord, your God, be upon you. That is his favor. The beauty of the Lord. Come on, his beauty will be upon His beauty. Yani umaridadu wake uweju yako, itakuwaje jama. Ikoje kwamba umaridadu wa buwana uwe juu yako. You know that is grace, favor in everything. We unatembea tu, unapata watu wanakuita. Hey, mtumishi, come. You know that we've been waiting for you, we've been seeing you. Can you please come and minister to us? Whatever they want to do. Hallelujah. And they are ready to bless you and they are ready to love you. They are ready to, you know, listen to you. When I saw Pei Sifa. The beauty of the Lord being upon any one of us. That is just abundance of life. The beauty of, imagine what is the beauty of the Lord. Every good thing is the beauty of the Lord. May the Lord establish our hands. May the, and establish your work, the, the work of our hands upon us. Yes, the work of our hands, establish it. Let me read it again. And let the beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us. And let it establish the work of our hands upon us. The work of our hands. Kazi ya mikono yako. Bwana, umaridadi wa bwana, ukiwa juu ya kazi ya mikono yako. 
itakuwaje juu ya kazi ya mikono ya umaridadi wa Bwana amen you will succeed in whatever you lay your hands to to do when I use a fair sifa because the Lord has anointed everything that your hands will touch when when I use a fair sifa you touch it hata kama ilikuwa ya kutobariki because your hands are, have, have been anointed you the beauty of the Lord is upon you your hands touch and blessings appear when I use a fair sifa hicho kitu kinanyooka even when it was crooked yani it's like the god unveils something even if it was looking ugly god is able to change anything hallelujah praise jesus i love in psalms 84 verse 11 it says for the lord god is a sun and shield the lord will give grace and glory hallelujah no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly grace and glory hallelujah he is a sun can you see the sun you are and and a shield Uh, what we call shield uh, kwa Kiswahili nangao jua nangao yako the lord will give grace and glory atapeana hiyo 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 neema yako atapeana juu yako and glory huo utukufu no good thing will be with all from that uh, from them that walk uprightly we were saying walk uprightly my brother walk uprightly my sister my friend my father my mother my daughter my son walk uprightly that is the only contention god has with us not walking uprightly his favor is upon us his beauty is upon us but are we walking uprightly when i so perceive can he say have you considered my servant job hallelujah he looked at job and god was so pleased with job when i saw persifa he really was pleased and angalia what job is doing and he's very pleased and now the village job when i should care maisha ya watu wake na anapeana the bill which was a good thing hallelujah the bill kwa watoto wake anafanya vizuri ana yani was a job was totally aware of god when i saw persifa and god was so pleased and angalia kutoka juu so that when this devil this devil this roaming devil when the devil appeared and I'm always have you considered my servant job sema how can I that should tell us something the enemy cannot consider you <laughs> hallelujah if you are walking uprightly when i saw persifa because that is a shield and a sun over you hallelujah god is a shield emba ngao so the enemy can god cannot get through to you because una nga una unaendelea kufanya hii god was a shield and a sun and to job so the enemy could not touch him and when he said how can i you know you've been watching over him you have built a hedge of protection around him ndio mungu akasema basi wacha nitoe hallelujah alisema basi wacha nifanye nini nitoe that tells us a lot that when we are, we allow ourselves to be protected by god when we walk upright god will do everything and it's not even uh, 